And now to a follow-up to a story we brought you earlier this month. Tomorrow is the last day the city of Suffolk will pay for hotel stays for residents of the Suffolk Tower Apartments. More than two weeks ago, a neighbor allegedly set fire to a chair in his unit. Many residents are still in hotel rooms for the time being. The landlord covered the cost until this past Friday. The city extended their stay until tomorrow. Arisha Tolliver caught up with some of the residents earlier today. It's been more than two weeks since the Suffolk Tower apartments caught fire. 69-year-old Herbert Booth, who's charged with setting the blaze, lived on the fifth floor. Police say Booth admitted to setting a chair on fire in his apartment. He now faces several charges, including arson. Booth's alleged actions trickled down to residents who also lived on that floor but got kicked out because of the damage. One of them, James Copeland, says funds to stay afloat are running out. I'm spending money that I had saved up to just move and buy clothing and gas and all this kind of stuff has been really been a pain. The landlord stopped paying for hotels last Friday. Now the city will continue to pay for residents until Monday. What do we do? Cheryl Griffin is working with the residents, some who have lived in the apartments for decades. She says there's a lot of hurdles to overcome, from rent amounts out of their budget to background checks and hefty deposits. Some places landlords are requiring up to three months um, rent and deposit, which is really difficult for these guys to do. First Baptist Church of Suffolk is collecting donations to help residents. Griffin is working with church pastors and organizations to help residents find housing options. It's a story we'll continue to follow. In Suffolk, I'm Aisha Tolliver. Tonight on your side.